everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me today on a video that's the first for me as well. I don't know if this is the first video you've watched of ours. We have thousands of videos online, but I've done lots of cars, uh, the video sequence of them, as well as many that we had that came and went before we could even get to the video. But in this case here, I wanted to get to this car early because I wanted you to see something that's a piece of history. There is approximately 500,000 66 Mustangs built, right? 500,000. There's plenty of 66 Mustangs. Less 66 Mustang fastbacks. Less 66 Mustang convertibles. There is also a 66 Mustang K-Code convertible. And then there's the final, the very best, the best of the best that Ford had to offer, right? Is a 66 Mustang GT K-Code convertible. This one here, documented. It's our first one we've had that's been documented. We've had many of these cars and we've had the proof of taking them apart, showing what would have come from the factory and why these are GTs. But in this case here, not only did we do that, but we have documentation along the way too, which is a cool piece. You know, there's something called the Marty Report. You may know what that is, but you can't get that uh, until, uh, until the later part of the 60s, right? So these 65 and 66 uh, first generation cars have been uh, difficult to authenticate and now we're able to do that on this particular example. So I would say in the world of cool cars, collectible cars and whatever, this definitely fits the mold as a collectible classic car. So this car is very authentic in the sense that it's almost exactly the way I rolled off the showroom floor. You say, well, Tony, how come it's not exactly like that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because uh, part of the driving experience of these cars, which is an improvement by, I say, 50% over the standard, is they came with bias ply tires, right? The radial tire was one of the best things that ever happened to them. So we installed a set of double uh, red line radial tires. If you're taking this to national shows, those won't be correct. You're going to need to change those to the bias versions of them um, and if you want to get us to get a set on there for you we can do that as well we buy these from you because uh, we use them on other cars too so uh, this is meant to, so that you could drive the car it just drives so well and sounds so good I want to make sure that somebody could enjoy it so uh, back to the original part this is a T code it's uh, got its tag on the inside of the door there right candy apple red paint and you can see clearly from uh, uh, the video how beautiful it is. We do the video for a reason because pictures can make all cars look shiny, right? And people can manipulate them, whatever. In video, we can't do that. And that's why I like you to see it. That's really what you're getting. So for instance, I'm teaching you a little bit about paint. Don't look at the paint, right? You say, well, Tom, what do you mean don't look at the paint? Here's what I mean by that. Look at the ceiling, the lighting in the paint. Look at these letters in the paint. Don't look at the paint. Look at these things when it's crisp and you can see everything in detail that's better paint than say paint that you can't see and things are fuzzy that's orange peely paint so let's take a peek at that real quick and see when we talk about mirror finish right that my friend is mirror finish paint all right so you're going to go to a car show and uh, you know what you're going to be the only one with one of these I, I i don't think that we've ever seen one or had one documented as i mentioned before but uh, the likelihood of running into another one is pretty slim and so when you open the hood, you want it to look right. It needs to look right, right? You're going to have a lot of Mustang enthusiasts looking at this, and you're going, okay, cool. So, for instance, like we have our Ford hoses here. We have the tower clamps like we're supposed to have. We have our auto-like decals for timing and the washer bag, right? Correct detail radiator. As much as you might like to get a giant radiator in here, you can do that, but this is plenty for this car. Uh, we got the battery topper on here. Um, it's painted satin in here as well because uh, if it was a Mopar, it would have been painted body color in here, but we know this is a Ford and they would have done that. The vent is stamped nice and clear here. I'll have Aaron just take a little peek of that. You got your decals where you're supposed to be. You have the right auto light carburetor that's on here. That's important. Steering box, okay. Steering box there has the correct codes on it. Uh, these holes for the fog lights, uh, you can see are punched into this right here. That's an important thing. That's one of the aspects that makes a GT a GT. So one of the small things is this punched hole from the factory instead of one that's been drilled out. Okay. Uh, the other is the exhaust hangers underneath the rear seat for the dual exhaust for these cars. All giveaways, giveaways whether the car originally started life out that way or it did not. Fortunately, we're documented enough to know that. We have the GT fog lights that are in here, which look so good, right? And then once we get inside, you'll get to see some of the upgrades and things. 
back to the original part of the car and the restoration is you got new chrome bumpers, you have all the stainless bezels, and you have uh, a beautiful restoration to, to be proud of. If you just want to drive the car, you can do that. If you want to show the car, you can do that. If you just want to put in your garage and look at it, you could do that too. All right, so we're in the rear of the car here, obviously, uh, and some things you can and you can't see that make for GTs. For instance, hanging under there is the big nine inch rear end, the nine inch rear end, because you had all that horsepower there. They needed that. Uh, also, the Shelby cars would have come with that as well. You got the GT exhaust that would go through the valance here instead of pointing down. Uh, we got a nice friend who came by the visit and say hello. We got a nice boy bringing some treats to us. Uh, you know what? At the end of the day, the Mustang makes you want to play. He wants to play. We want to play. Let's get out on the road and play. Anyway, uh, back into the trunk. But we got our GT call out here, which is different than the regular Mustang gas cap. Okay. And inside here, I like this, and I'll tell you why. This sign that there's a car cover in here it came with the car. You say, well, tell them, who cares about a car cover? I'm like, okay, agreed. It's not like the most expensive thing in the world, but what it does is send a message. It says, not only was this car garaged, but it was also uh, covered inside the garage, right? So it was like double protected. It was like a giant double condom, right? And so I'm gonna put this on top of another car here for a second. And I wanna show the detail that's in here, okay? Right here we have our jack pack with a jack spare tire, spare tire cover. It's got the plaid decals in here. We have our jacking instructions under here. A GM car or a Chrysler would have had the weather stripping down here. Fords have the weather stripping up in the trunk lid because they felt that that sealed better. And uh, more importantly, when this closes, it just sounds really, really nice. All right, so you're walking up to your cool car. Maybe you decided to drive it to work today, huh? You decided to drive it to work. You're going to maybe leave an hour early. God forbid you leave an hour early, right? You never leave an hour early. You always stay. Uh, and then you get in. You walk up to the car. You're like, this is my car. I'm not really stealing it. Then you go ahead and you get in this beautiful, beautiful car. And we need to talk about some of the stuff in here. So... When you get a car like this, it has virtually every option you could get, like the pony interior. It's really called a luxury interior, and that's the way it's coded on the door, but we call it a pony interior because of the horses running across it. So this is the much nicer interior, molded in door panels and door cards and things like that. Uh, and then just the combination of, of driver information, right? You have uh, your fuel gauge, oil, speedometer, amps, temp. Most muscle cars didn't come with all this stuff. This also has the rally pack, which has a tachometer and the clock. Clock is working the way it's supposed to, which is a nice sign. This has the original AM radio in here too. And what we do for a lot of people is we hide uh, the stereo system in here, okay? This also has the flashers in there mounted the way it's supposed to be. The original decal is still on the trunk and on, on the lid here, the glove box lid. Uh, climate control, this great looking steering wheel. I gotta tell you what, man, once you buy this car, once you get it at home, buy yourself another one of these and mount it in your office. This is such a cool piece. It's the, probably one of the best looking steering wheels out there. This car is comfortable. Imagine going out with another couple in this car, taking the kids out as well. The dinner, the experience is just way different. This is just really, really nice and a lot of fun. And not to mention, when you're rolling down the road and shifting through the gears, it sounds great. All right, so to close up the video, I want to share something with you that you already know, but I'm just going to remind you of it. You're getting a very different car here. There are very few real deal, authenticated Mustang GT Keiko convertible four speeds out there with almost all of its original, exactly the way it rolled off the showroom parts on it, paint, all that good stuff, but beautifully restored as well. And it's a great driving car. That's the difference too, man. This car goes down the road so beautifully, makes that great sound out of the trumpet exhaust tips as you're rolling through the shifter and it's very fast for its time i mean it really makes a great sound and really goes anybody in the back seat is going to be like whoa how you doing anyway call us 301-816-1000 we'll tell you all about this uh well, it's a mouthful i'm gonna say it one more time mustang gtk code convertible four speed all right uh if you don't mind hit the like button down below that helps us get our message out subscribe to the channel we have new stuff coming out all the time maybe share it with your friends too uh, uh, we have new stuff and uh, they might like it as well. I'll see you on the next one.